First off, we start off with this cheap plastic top. It's not sealed or anything. It didn't have an O-ring or anything in it. This is just one of the cheap gallon buckets, five gallon bucket lids. Um, I'm eventually going to get a uh, gamma seal lid for it so I can, and it'll, it'll have a seal on the outside and then on the inner lid where you open it up it'll have a seal so I can make sure it's airtight and I can uh, throw a desiccant pack, air pack in it. It'll suck the O2 out of it and it won't hurt the stuff inside of it. Um, so basically what you see here, this is the start of the bucket, the top of it. I'm going to fold all out and show you all on table what is in here. Okay, guys, what you see here is everything that's in that bucket. Um, let's go from my left to my right. Um, first off, we've got over here. All my, most of everything in here is either, it was not pre-packed, if it's not pre-packed and vacuum sealed, it's vacuum sealed. Um, that's just basically to keep the freshness and if it's whatever the substance is, I basically just said to keep fresh and from going bad. Let's start over here, like I said, on your right, my left. Let's start off then with uh, some 223. I have uh, three packages. This is a Tula ammo, 223 uh, full metal jacket, steel cased ammo. Uh, you know, it'll get me by in a pinch. Hopefully I have a 223 with me in, in the case and I need to dig this out of the ground. Um, over here we have uh, 12 gauge. This is just Winchester Universal rounds. This is, I have 25 uh, rounds of the bird shot. I have 5 rounds of buckshot. 12 gauge, of course. 2 packages of super glue that have 2 tubes in each. You never know, super glue can come in pretty handy in wounds and whatever the case you need it for be. A package of utility knives. I'm keeping this in the original package because these blades seem to go bad and rust out pretty quick with any kind of moisture. Um, next, I guess I better back up here. I have two packages of 9mm. This is a uh, Lawman. 115 grain, uh, this is the nylon, I think this is the uh, nylon jacket is stuff here. Uh, good ammo. So I got 100 rounds of 9mm. Probably going to have a 9mm with me. Um, go back over here. Two cans of uh, tuna. Two cans of Vienna sausages. Three packages of bar uh, fire starters. Uh, this stuff's a nasty nasty smelling and feeling stuff. You can just buy these at a Walmart. I don't know what the exact name of it. I forgot it now. But uh, it's just a bar you break in pieces and then you just light it and it starts a fire. I tried it. It's okay. Could be better. Um, next is a 16 ounce hammer. You know, as good as a hammer is, this what you, you know, for whatever you need it to be. It's got a carbon fiber, uh, gra or graphite handle, excuse me. Um, and I got, I got a two pack from Home Depot. It was like $2.50 for the two pack. One of their specials. Um, it's okay. Could be, could be a better quality hammer, but like I said, it'll get me by what you need it to be. Breaking glass or pulling out boards and nails or whatever. Uh, a package of some coins. I have quarters, dimes, and nickels. I think it's eight dollars and quarters, three dollars and dimes, or four dollars and dimes. Oh, it's three dollars. And then a dollar and nickels. It's not going to get you through a whole lot in a situation where you need to dig it up and need some money. I don't have any cash in here. You know, paper money. But this will get you a phone call, I guess you could. Get you a drink. It just it just depends on what the situation is that you need to dig this out of the ground. Uh, six zip ties, which I will be putting more and larger zip ties in the bucket before I bury it. Go from the top here, you got a fire making kit. 
with overabundance of lighters, you never can have enough, especially for something you're going to put in the ground. Um, I got four lighters here. A this is a wet fire cube, a P51 can opener, and here I've got two match books, a box of matches, a lighter, and three uh, cotton balls. It's all in some little baggie. Two bars of soap, and it's you know boxed up. I put some duct tape on it, and then I put it in a, a uh, food saver bag to keep it fresh. The one thing it does keep fresh is the smell of the bucket, because the smell has leaked out from the pack from the airtight pack or backy to the bucket. Uh, I think it's four sets of latex free gloves. I, I packed latex free gloves because in whatever the situation, there are so many people that have latex allergies and so many people that have latex allergies and don't know that they have the allergy. It's always good to have the gloves that are latex free. Next is a gel fuel uh, can. This is uh, made by the Sterno. It's the same thing as the Sterno cooking cans. It's just a smaller portion, smaller can. This is uh, supposed to be decorative stuff. So you put it in a little container and you put the rocks over it and you light it. And it's supposed to look all fancy, but it works exactly the exact same stuff as the Sterno. And this is um, one of the things. This little rack, you stick this down in it, and it sits in the the pot it sits in. But I figured. You could use this maybe as a stove or something and have this right uh, sitting above it. I don't know. I just threw it in there. Uh, next to that are some Coleman camp towels. They're travel towels. They are about the size of a Tums and you get them wet. And I don't know, it didn't say how big they get, but they're a pretty good size washcloths. Um, good for washing your face, cleaning clothes. If you need to, like a stain, um, messes, whatever you need to use a towel for, I guess you could say. Paper towels are nice to have, like actual roll paper towels, but this is much smaller and the same size of a paper towel about. A uh, package of uh, disposable ear, uh, earplugs, always nice to have, especially if you're around machinery. Say if you were in like a situation where it's a doomsday type scenario where you had to have had to bug out and you had to dig this out of the ground, your uh, earplugs are going to be good to have because there's going to be machinery around or if we're under attack by any means, good to have in protection of your ears for gunfire or bombs that might be going off, whatever the case be, I don't know. A air packs and a food saver bag. Uh, poncho from Walmart's in its own package already. I went ahead and tossed it in here and made sure it's double proof, double waterproof. It's a, it's a poncho. If it gets wet, it's not going to hurt me, but it just collect uh, moisture in there, and I, I didn't want that. A airtight package of fishing hooks. We got regular fishing hooks and treble hooks. I put the treble hooks in there. One to fish, and two because they are great for booby traps. You can take your fishing line, you say you hit your campsite, you uh, make it so it's an oval, and then, or uh, make your campsite an oval, but make everything come into a V, and so everybody has to come in through one door. Well, if you have the one door, you can hang the uh, treble hooks off of limbs and branches where they're hanging around from fishing line, and they become great booby traps. Catch people in the eyeballs, catch people in the foreheads, just make sure you're not catching yourself. It's, it's, it has worked. Proved to work. I'm not saying how I know that, but it, proved, it works. Uh, next to that is an emergency blanket, air, you know, airtight. When packed up, it's water, you know, not going to get wet in there. Talking about fishing, I got a 
a package of bobbers and some fishing line. I think this fishing line is something like a hundred or 80, 80 to a hundred pound test. It's pretty thick uh, fishing line, but you know I'm talking about going out and throwing some catfish, looking, you're trying to get some catfish, and also have a couple other big hooks somewhere, or whatever the big fish be. But I just wanted to make sure that it's not going to get away with some thin 15 pound line. It's nice to have that. But I just went ahead and got security here and put this in there. Next over to that is some cheap uh, poly rope, the nylon stuff. I think it's whatever it is. It's just junk. It's like 25 cents for 50 feet or whatever it is at Walmart. Um, good for clotheslines, fishing again, like bank line type thing. Um, whatever you can think of about to be. A 9 by 12 tarp. It's not very heavy duty. It's pretty thin, as you can see right there. But this will make you a lean to, a tent, uh, just a shelter. This was picked up at uh, Home Depot for, as you can see, $6.90. Actually, it was on sale past that, and it was $3.50. And so I picked a couple of these up. Nice to have. Um, it was originally 15 bucks, so why not? It is poly polyethylene, so it'll catch fire. Be, be, be careful with that. Um, see what else? It's just like an OD green color on the back side, so it's good for camouflaging your campsite. But that's another thing, is that, like with these emergency blankets, good for signaling, good for hiding. And they also make those... Uh, thermal blankets slash tarps that are like an OD green or camo on one side and then the uh, emergency blanket on the other side and so you can flip around you can you can uh, shine a helicopter airplane flying over or somebody driving by or whatever the case be those are always good too but they're just too big for my bucket and here next next line is uh, two packages of body warmers and two packages of hand warmers. Heat is essential. First off, that's the reason why I got fire, you know, these bars of fire, or cute fire cubes, I guess you can call them. And I've got the, the can of heat, or fire gel, and then the lighters. Heat is essential for cooking, for living, for boiling water, which you also need lots of water. You can live with, the, with none of this stuff. You can live without any of this stuff, but you need water. So water, fire, you know, water, heat, and shelter are your main things to stay alive. Most people watching this video probably already know that. So I'm not trying to sound stupid or anything, but just so the ones that don't know this kind of stuff, they can learn. Getting next to the end here, We've got a roll of duct tape, which I could probably take a uh, old ink pen body and wrap it around and make it much more compact. But it's just fine here because my roll of electrical tape fits right into it. And let's see here. The way I've got it set in here, my cans fit right into it. It saves it takes a little space. And then these next two things, a roll of toilet paper with the cardboard taken out. You know, obviously, I got it nice and airtight, free of air because you don't want soggy toilet paper. This is just that, you know, you're cheap, unless like 10 cents a roll, where your value pack on the whole 30, 30 pack costs like 2 bucks, it's like 10 cents. So it's just going to get you by for sure. Next is a maxi pad, and by maxi pad, I mean this thing is something like 18 inches wide or long, and about four inches wide. Uh, this is for like incontinent elderly people. Great for packing wounds, so you got a laceration on the leg, in the stomach, or so be a person gets shot, you can throw this on them, and it'll soak up the blood, a lot of blood, a lot of moisture as in urine or water, whatever it be. It can 
I've seen them get to about an inch and a half thick. They're amazing. But, and, you know, even if you have a lady with you, be nice to them and uh, help them out. Cut it in half and put it in their underwear for them. Um, I also, the next thing to get in here before I dump it in the ground are tampons because tampons good for bloody nose, noses, good for bullet wounds, um, good for women's monthly area here, and multiple things. Stopping a leak on a boat. You can just think of multiple ways to, view, to use these uh, pieces. So that's uh, my bucket that I'm going to be putting in the ground, my survival bucket. I know it's not a lot of food to keep me sustained, but you know, it's, like I said, it's just going to get me out of the ground. You know, pull it out of the ground and get me to my next next point, as long as I can get to wherever I put it. If I don't, I have more more along the way somewhere. Um, I can't tell you. I'm not going to tell you where I live or my geographical area, but hopefully, I can get this stuff and be burying it in a place where nobody's going to see me or know that I put it there. So, that being said, this concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, dislike, and subscribe. i got more coming to you.